Hi, it's Tate from Nanjing Marketing Group. Uh, somebody from one of our last videos asked us how I was typing in the video, and they wanted to know more about how Chinese people use keywords to type Chinese characters. Um, there's thousands of Chinese characters, so people are confused about how they can actually type things, right? Uh, I'll give you a quick look here using my computer, and then I'm going to have a colleague of mine come on, and she's going to show me a uh, method of typing Chinese that she says is a bit different and a bit better. So here's my keyboard. If I want to write in, in Chinese, what I do is I start entering some uh, English letters. And this is called Chinese Pinyin, and it's just a way of writing Chinese in English. Okay. So if I write in BA, it's going to give me a bunch of different Chinese characters, and these have different meanings. Now, if I start again and I type in a bit more, so I write BA, CI, BASI. Now, BASI can mean um, Brazil, amongst other things. And that's the first one it guessed. Now on my keyboard, I could type one to get that. I could choose this one, Basi UFO, UFO, or I could write L V Y O U one. And that's the Chinese word for travel. And I can go ahead and do my searching. Okay. This is a way that you type anything in Chinese. If you're just doing a quick search or if you're writing an, an email or an essay or anything. And the method on Android is um, kind of similar. Windows, Android, iOS, they all have um, their default Chinese language typing tools within them. But there's some things that are not default too. Um, so my colleague Nara, she uses that. And let's check it out with her. I'm gonna switch the views. Okay, so uh, right now I will show my screen, share my screen with you. So this is the uh, Baidu.com. Uh, right now I will also try to search for LV, LV, LOU, this word, uh, LV, okay. YOU, this word. Um, usually we will just use the Chinese pinyin to search for them. And sometimes we will just use the first word to search for things. The for first, example, I the use, first letter, you mean? Yeah, the first letter. Yeah. Right. Uh, for example, I use L and the Y, uh, and uh, because uh, I I didn't search uh, for this word like this before, so you can see the first one word is not travel. It's like leave a message. So I can try to find find the uh, travel word. Okay, so it's in the second page, the full, fourth one. I can choose it. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the future, if I try to search for this word again, for example, I I tap in LY. So the travel is in the number one uh, location of uh, this tool. Right. Um, so uh, this tool can help to record uh, my typing habits. So uh, it's convenient for our Chinese users to uh, search for everything. Okay, so you think this one is just smarter than the default tools? It's easier to use. Right. Okay. Right, and also uh, this 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 tool also has has another function that it has a lot of uh, area words uh, data. Means if, for example, if I'm a doc doctor, I can download the, the doctor words. Uh, so in the future, I can uh, search for those words quickly. Okay. Hmm. All right. So that's pretty simple. Um, and yours is a bit more stylish too, is it? Yeah. I noticed it kind of had your style there. Is that like a, a skin you chose for the appearance? Yes. Uh, that's why uh, our, uh, I mean, young people like it because I can change the skin. Uh, this is my style. I can also choose uh, the other skins too. <laughs> These are very cute. Okay. Let's take a quick look at those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, maybe because I'm I'm I opened the VPN, so it's it's slow to open the page. Okay, there there are a lot of skins to to change. Does it do any other customization for you? Besides the skins, mm, be besides the uh, learning about your your language typing methods. Uh -huh. Um, actually, there is another function uh, with this tool. Uh, 
sorry, I think this page we I will just close it. Another interesting thing is because uh, Chinese users, I mean young users, we we love emoji. So with the the tool, we can easily tap tap that kind of thing. For example, if I tap. Aha means I'm happy. So you can see the third and the fourth one. These are uh, mm. cute words. Okay, right, right. Yeah. So those are the, um, what would you call it? Emoji style um, faces, right? Yeah, in Chinese we call it yan wenzi, means it's like a face, face words. <laughs> right, okay. My tool doesn't do that. All right. Yeah. Um, well, uh, thanks for showing us. And uh, that's about it. This is how this is how people type in Chinese. It's pretty easy for it's pretty easy for people. They can use the default methods on their operating system, or they can install a tool like um, Sogo Shurufa to customize things more for themselves. And that's it. Uh, if you want to learn more, subscribe. Send us a question. Check out China Marketing One Hundred and One page. See you later.